Pole days here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This weekend, Indy 500 drivers are competing to qualify for those top starting positions. Olivia Ray joins us live now with our coverage from day two as it continues. Hey, Olivia. Hello, Hannah. So yesterday was a wild day one of qualifying. Of course, today is pole day where the top 12 drivers will compete to see who will lead the field to green for the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. Yesterday, though, locked in the spots 13 through 33 and rounding it out at number 33 is Stefan Wilson. Of course, he, you know, was our final driver to keep the historic streak going of 33 drivers in the field. You didn't know you had a, a ride until May 5th, so you like to keep us on our toes here in Indy. And Stefan had some engine trouble, which started in the morning. It lasted throughout the day. So if you can break down what yesterday was like for you, I know everyone was watching the weather. You were probably watching to see if you could even climb in your car. Yeah, absolutely. I wish I was wearing this suit today because we're going to be out on track, you know, but unfortunately uh, yesterday didn't go to plan. You know, we uh, had had a gearing issue, which unfortunately uh, buzzed the motor and uh, Chevy wanted to pull the motor out because of that issue and, and uh, just as a precaution, really. Um, and I t totally understandable with uh, the RPM that it reached. Um, so, you know, uh, that, that really put us in a hole when we we're just we we're racing against the weather all day, just trying to get the engine changed and uh, get back out there obviously uh, you know this uh, this all came together pretty late and uh, my my guys just did an awesome job to get the engine changed but it just wasn't in time to get out there and set a time so I'm disappointed I really wanted to see what we could do in this uh, Dragon Speed Cusick Motorsports number 25 uh, you know I feel like we could have avoided the last rare party but um, here we are uh, that's uh, unfortunately a party that I'm gonna have to go to this this year I know a lot of people were asking on social media because they actually believe you will be the first driver to not run a qualifying attempt that will qualify for the Indianapolis 500. We're going to fact check that with Donald Davidson later yeah, today. I'm not, I'm not sure that's correct. I think there's two times that it's happened. Uh, Other than driver days. changes? Uh, Bourdais in 2017, I think. And then um, I think there was Tagliani in 2016. So. There you go. Stefan fact checked it for us. There we go. <laughs> All right. So other than that, though, I know a lot of people were asking if you would be able to run today, if they were going to throw you out there for four laps. Are you are you going to do that? Or are you just moving to race race car at this point? I, I would love to get out there and do four laps, um, if only for the fact that it, it gets uh, the speed up there on the board and, and on the starting ring as well. I'm not sure it's going to say for mine right now. Uh, just trying to put a brave face on it. You know, it's, it's not what we all wanted, um, you know, but uh, I don't think we'll be able to get out there and actually do a time to, to put me in the 33rd spot, um, but it'll just be no time. Um, but now it's just moving on to the race. We've got to keep our chin up, focus forward on what's to come, and that's the 500 mile race on sun next Sunday. So, you know, we're just going to now uh, just regroup, focus on that, and uh, try and do the best job we can for the race car. Awesome. Stefan, thank you so much. He's a veteran of the Indianapolis 500. We have no worries that he will put on a good show coming up next Sunday. And send all of your Twitter questions to him because he just answered them all <laughs> here in about 30 seconds. So, Stefan, thank you again. Thanks a lot. Good luck next Sunday, and we will see you around the rest of this week. Guys, I'll send it back to you. I'm going to be roaming the garages, though, the rest of this hour. All right. Sounds good, Olivia. Thanks so much. I'm sure his Twitter is going to be blowing up now.